the time. So, uh, you, you missed your appointment. Um, by the way, I need to tell you that I recently got diagnosed with uh, ADHD. Um, my wife said she was going to take me to see Laureate, and I thought that was somebody pretty cool. Laureate is a kind of neat name. When I got out three weeks later, I was pissed. Um, but I got it under control now. I'm under. I'm on a lot of mostly prescription medications, so I'm gonna get this taken. We're gonna be all right. We're gonna have a good night tonight. So, um, I was just now out out in the lobby on my smartphone for a while. And have you guys got these smartphones? You guys have? Yeah. yeah? No. Okay. Yeah. I got a smartphone, and I was out there. I was trying to text. I was trying to do God knows whatever. And I realized that when I was out there on my smartphone, one of us is a dumbass. <laughs> Jury's still out. But um, I like getting, I, I, my wife pointed out, I always get black phones. I like the black sleep phones, the black cover on it and all this. And my wife's like, why do you always have to get it like a black phone? There's white ones out there too. And I go, well, I just found that, you know, when, when you go black, um, once you go there, she was quick to agree. <laughs> I didn't want that to be that funny. <laughs> I have to tell you though, um, I recently got unfriended on Facebook. Have you been through this private hell? Dear God, I'd rather be shot. I, true story, I'm friends with a comic who does this line of clothing and underwear where he has like warning signs down in certain areas. I can't point there because we're clean, so I'm just gonna say there, okay? There. And so, he's got this line of clothing. My wife and I, we bought one of them. We thought it'd be funny, it'd be cool, and we'd you know, just make jokes about it. And then, uh, the other day, I wrote him, I said, Dude, my wife loves wearing your underwear. <laughs> Boom, unfriended. <laughs> you know, I talk about my wife a lot, but we get into a lot of adventures. Um, the other day, we actually got kicked out of the zoo. Okay? <laughs> Here's the, my, we're bit, we, you know, we're modern people, we embrace culture, we're all about this, we love, you know, getting to know everybody, and, but apparently, a few uppity folks get all weird when you throw poo at the monkeys. <laughs> Avoid the Tulsa Zoo. So, um, but, you know, that was a, that was a recent string of violence. I'm usually a non-violent person, you know, aside, the last, the last episode of violence I actually experienced was when my wife had this book. Um, it's, it's this gray shades, this, the shades of 50 something. Have you seen? She's smiling, yeah. she's got it. Um, <laughs> bro. <laughs> you can always tell the guys that have this book because their spouses are walking around like the, the scientists from Back to the Future, like, Great Scott Michael! You know, so I can always tell that to those guys. But I didn't know about it. It's okay, I was on medication. So, um, so I was, you know, one day we're, we're just sitting there and she, she got halfway through the book and she just sort of looks at me. And just looks at me, and I'm like, what? And then all of a sudden, the lights go off. There's a lot of banging. There's, they're screaming. There's, there's lots of apologizing. It was just like our wedding night. And then I woke up two weeks later from a coma. I'm in traction. She's still reading it, though, so... Um, I guess there's a series. Um, <laughs> But I've noticed that my wife and I, we've got skewed perspectives on a couple of things. Let me give you an example. The other day we were driving around and we had to get a, a couple items, okay? And to, to a man, a couple items means a couple <laughs> items, right? Just a couple. I'm saying this to all the women. You just happen to be right there. He knows a couple items, okay? And he knows it's never a couple items, okay? So, a couple items. So I send her in the Target. I'm like, okay, here's the deal. Coffee and toilet paper. That's all we need. Don't ask me why. There's a lot of meth around here, but I'm not saying I'm contributing to it. <laughs> Coffee and toilet paper, okay? 20 minutes later, she comes out with a lint roller and pantyhose. No coffee. She says, it's okay. I, you know, these are stuff that we can use. This is stuff that we're going to need. And I'm like, and it pisses me off because, you know, she's right. But, um... <laughs> She makes me carry it around, but it's okay, so don't worry about it. Um, but anyway, I was... 
Um, <laughs> I was out there just a few minutes before I had my whole cell phone epidemic, and um, I noticed some guys out there reiterated this thing that I call, um, it's the sliding dam scale for women. Have you guys heard of this? The guys have this. You can ask them about it later. This is the sliding dam scale. I'm not sure if you're familiar with this, because when a woman walks by, she's either a damn, you know, or she's a damn. Okay? <laughs> or she's a damn! You know? <laughs> I, have couple, you know, I have to tell you one thing. Um, the other day, I have to, I have to, get, I have to get props to my, my, my family because, uh, as, I, as I said to my wife the other day, you know what? You're like the inspiration for my comedy. And, and that went over way wrong. <laughs> um, but I guess that's okay because I heard her telling somebody the other day, and, you know, my life is like the, 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 blunt, cruel, the, the blunt of a cruel joke was once I got married. So, um, that was okay. Yeah, I know, seriously. It's all right. Um, but we were driving back the other day. I gotta tell you this story. We were driving back. Um, my wife, I, my son, he's, he's 11, and my stepdaughter's 14, okay? And we are driving back, and my, um, my son, he says, uh, all of a sudden, he just sort of, um, he's, he's arguing with my stepdaughter, and my stepdaughter, she yells out, she goes, stop arguing! You're never gonna win! This is never gonna happen! Why do you even open your mouth? It's never gonna happen! <laughs> And so my son, he asked me, he goes, Dad, why am I never going to win? <laughs> well, that's easy, son. That's because she has a vagina. <laughs> my wife's beside me like that. <laughs> so that was a long ride. Um, I don't know how much more time I've got left here, so I'm going to go. That's, that's time for me. He's cutting me off, so okay. Um, stay away from drugs, man. Talk to you all later. <laughs> Going, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>